Hey there, random internet strangers. It's Random Crypto Guy uh, here with my dollar cost averaging beast mode signal. Let's get right to it. The dollar cost average beast mode signal for Sunday, May 16th, 2021 at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for Bitcoin. The dollar cost average is 88.6%. That's how much Bitcoin we are going to buy today with our dollar cost averaging. The buy the dip escrow is 9.3%. That means that we are going to put 9.3% uh, of our dollar cost average into the Bitcoin escrow account so that we have some money set aside to buy the smaller dips. The all-in escrow is at 2.1%, which means we put 2.1% of our dollar cost average into the all-in signal, and that's to buy the big bargain basement discount signal when it, if it does occur, and it occurs on average every two and a half years for Bitcoin. For Ethereum, the dollar cost average, what we're going to purchase today is 38.2%. You can see that there's a big discrepancy. I'll talk about that as I do in every video. The buy the dip escrow is at 53.3% and the all in escrow is at 8.5%. Uh, the newest addition to the lineup, the BNB token, the Binance token, uh, is with the DCA of 81.8%. That's how much uh, Binance coin that we are going to purchase today. The buy the dip escrow is 14.5% and the all in escrow is 3.7%. Is okay. Uh, these signals I give out every week on my Twitter account. They will be in the pinned tweet and I come up with them around 8 o'clock. Uh, as you can see right here, it's eight, a little bit uh, after 8 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, if there are any big discrepancies by 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, then uh, I will give an updated version, but that usually doesn't happen. Most of, most of the time, you'll start seeing the big moves after that, and that's when the new candle has formed and the uh, futures markets have opened. So, and uh, I picked these three coins uh, because of their network effects and the uh, over time they have proven to get higher and higher uh, now of course uh, the Binance coin still has a lot to be proven but it does have the network effect uh, the desired network effect with uh, the ecosystem that's brewing inside of it and uh, so that's why I've uh, added uh, Binance as well I understand that it's centralized it's a lot more centralized especially the the Binance smart chain in general uh, very centralized but uh, uh, a lot of people don't care about that quite honestly that that's what it sucks people look for leaders and you know because they fail to lead themselves they can't govern themselves so but uh, I, I digress and I don't want to get into that too much so uh, like I said, uh, you follow uh, Random Crypto Guy on Twitter at Forex underscore random. And uh, there's my little profile, me and my Bitcoin Maiden t-shirt. If you go to Miami, you'll see me uh, in that t-shirt stumbling around. Uh, well, I don't drink or smoke, so uh, I look like I do, but I'm cool and everything. I'm 420 friendly and all that, but uh, I, I personally have uh, found that uh, it's best for myself if I don't. Uh, and uh, see and then the signals will be in the pinned tweet here uh, every week uh, every Sunday and so let's moving on let's go to the calculator and we will show you if you're new how to calculate the, these so uh, in our examples I always use $100 as the example of our dollar cost average 
uh, so it makes the math really easy and that you'll remember it helps you uh, remember the numbers but I'll, I'll put the uh, the uh, the the actual numbers up uh, again here shortly but uh, let's go through them real quick and for Bitcoin we have our $100 that's how much money total that we spend week after week and that's the key to dollar cost averaging is something that you can do consistently whether it's 20 bucks whether it's 2,000 bucks whether it's 150 whether it's $1.79 you know, or one hundred seventy-nine dollars and eighty-two cents. Maybe, maybe that's it. I don't. I don't know what your situation is, or what you can afford, but it has to be something you can consistently put aside week to week, and that's it, it creates a savings account. And then what dollar cost average beast mode does is it brings down the average of your dollar cost average. That's what it's designed to do, and by buying these dips and buying in at discounts, so that's what it's designed to do. Uh, and and I'm, I really make it real simple. You just divide it up into three different buckets, and then the two escrow buckets that I talk about. When the prices get super, super cheap, that's when we pull the money out of the bucket and buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or or uh, Binance coin with that money. So we're setting that aside in dollars, and then when the time comes, when the prices have dipped down low enough, we'll reach into those buckets, pull it out. Buy the bit, buy the coin, and then we'll hold on to it. And this is a hodl strategy over years. It's this is not buy X Y Z shit coin, and in two weeks you're going to make be a millionaire. Doesn't work that way. If you're lucky, you know, once in a while you get some, you know, something like Doge coin comes along. You are riding the wave, and and you catch the hype wave uh, early. Then uh, you know something like that can happen. But these are. Uh, network effect driven coins that are going to be in it for the long haul so we are in it for the long haul and that's what if you want to if you have some extra money to set aside to buy doggy coin or you know XYZ ship coin or I threw 200 bucks at ship the other day because because you know uh, it's going to India and I think that might have some network effects in India that's why I chose that uh, that was my main reason behind it. Not all, not all of it, but that was my main reason. Uh, so, uh, enough of the explaining. We have one hundred dollars for our Bitcoin. That's how much money dollars we have to spend today, uh, this week, to purchase. So, the dollar cost average symbol is eighty-eight point six. So we take our dollar cost average is one hundred times eighty-eight. 0.6% that equals $88.60 so that's how much we are going to purchase today and that number will be different depending upon what your dollar cost average number is whether it's uh, $20 or whether it's $179.82 whether it's $2,000 this it'll work for for anything uh, up to twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, then it gets it's a, the uh, numbers get a little tricky because uh, the numbers get small for the percentages, and it's hard to uh, trade with uh, that small of amount. So that is so we'll set that aside. I talk too much, I know. The by the dip escrow is nine point three percent. So we'll take our one hundred times nine point three percent equals nine dollars and thirty cents so we're going to take nine dollars and thirty cents we're going to put that into a dollar escrow account uh, you can put that in whatever account that you want I choose BlockFi because it's best set up for Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, to uh, hold this money aside because then you can earn interest on top of it uh, so we'll set that aside and, and in Bitcoin I set that aside in USDC so I buy in at BUSD and then I'll trade it to the USDC and that will uh, uh, keep it segregated from the all-in account so and that's next we go to the all-in account and that's 2.1 percent so our 100 times 2.1 percent equals two dollars and ten cents so all this totals 
together is $100. So $2.10 is going to go to the all in account. And uh, I usually I keep that in GUSD uh, for my BlockFi account. And uh, then it, it grows at 8% interest. And then I can trade it real easily and keep it inside BlockFi. I don't have to transfer it over to a bunch of different places and, and waste a lot of money on fees. And plus, I earn 8% interest while I'm waiting for that all in. Uh, to uh, to happen, and so that'll add up after time. You know, a two percent here, five percent here, eight percent here, one percent there, and that'll add up over time to hundreds, even thousands of dollars. So when the all-in signal occurs, you've got a big chunk of change to buy uh, at a really deep discount price. So, but uh, the the key here is patience and being patient and waiting for that right time in the cycle to do that. So, all right, that's enough of that. Now we'll go a little bit faster for the next one for Ethereum. Once again, we're going to use our example $100. So 100 times, and the DCA is 38.2%. So 38.2% equals $38.20. And that will go uh, purchase Ethereum today. Okay? Then we go to our buy the dip, and that's 53.3, so 100 times 53.3% equals $53.30. That goes into a buy the dip escrow, so we'll set that aside to buy the smaller dips that happen uh, anytime. They can happen at any time, not the big giant dip that we're looking for, but the smaller dip. So, and then we'll pull money out of that uh, out of that bucket uh, when that does occur. But right now, Ethereum's riding, still riding pretty high. So, uh, and like I said, we want to be patient. You'll hear people screaming on Twitter, "Buy the dip! Buy the dip!" You know, this is a long-term strategy. You have to keep in mind it's not day to day. It's best not to even pay attention to the day to day stuff. Um, let's move on to the all-in signal. So it's 100 times the all-in signal is 8.5% equals $8.50. And so that'll be different depending upon, once again, you know what your dollar cost average is. So moving on to Binance Coin. Now, full disclosure, I didn't use the same indicators to help me to track the Binance Coin's percentage signals. So there might be some slight discrepancies in that because I couldn't use, I, I tried to hook up MetaTrader to Binance and I couldn't get it without paying for it. So I, I went a different route to, uh, to get my calculations and used a different platform. I used TradingView to get my platform for, for Binance. I'm still gonna continue to work on MetaTrader because it, I, the, uh, the indicators are more accurate that I use on MetaTrader than they are on uh, uh, it's not that big a deal. It's when the, m the numbers get way out of whack and way out of skew. Uh, they, ha they have to get pretty high uh, for the indicator to start getting a little wacky. But uh, in general, it works fine. It's just when they get to those extreme edges, it, it seems to get a little wacky. So for BNB coin, the DCA is 81.8%. So we take our $100 times 81.8% equals $81.80. That's how much Binance coin that we are going to purchase today with our $100. And then our buy the dip escrow is 14.5, so it's 100 times 14.5% equals $14.50. So that's how much we're going to set aside to buy the smaller dips, and then uh, and then we'll dig out percentages to pay based on how deep the dip goes. So we're still uh, I'll get to the charts here in a minute and uh, explain a little bit further what the reasoning behind this is, and then the all-in signal is 3.7, so that's 100 times 3.7 percent 
equals three dollars and seventy cents. So that'll get aside set aside for the all in escrow to buy at those that bargain basement discount that we're looking for. Uh, don't have any. Uh, I've seen. I saw two signals on all in on ETH and th I believe three signals. I'll have to go back and double check later, but I think I saw three all in signals on uh, Binance Coin and the entire history and remember we go by the weekly chart I use this the weekly chart to do this so but uh, I want to look at the daily charts today of each one of these so we're gonna set this aside remember here's me random crypto crypto guy uh, and where am I going first I'm gonna go to here yep here first okay this is Bitcoin and you see we've been bouncing around here for quite some time this is the daily chart the Bitcoin and we've been bouncing around between around 50 ish 49 48 and 60,000 uh, right in here at these these uh, the upper upper resistance and this we we've got some demand built up here this is new daily demand that just popped up a couple weeks ago so we're in this again it's nested and stacked so it's still pretty strong it's still fairly strong de demand level. I think it's just a lot of foot out there with Elon running his mouth about Dogecoin and wants to be the next Roger Ver. So uh, I try to set him straight. I don't know if he'll listen to me or not, but uh, you know, you know, I don't. We'll see if he's driven more by money or more by uh, energy. So uh, we'll 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 see about that. You know, uh, schlubs down here that are still trying to scrape and survive I sometimes think he forgets about that um, and what what what's truly important and the, the, the long view of uh, why proof of work is uh, better than proof of stake so uh, if we do this more a little bit more accurate this is a very right in here this is the uh, next level it's you can see that it's just been front running this level a little bit so we could see this this is fairly strong what's what's going on here you got stacked and nested demand in in between these two levels now if this level breaks then we're heading down to 38 and that's when we're gonna start getting some uh, some issues and then the, the panic will really start setting in so we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see and hold you know see if this is going to hold or not and that's the thing about dollar cost average you know i don't pretend to know whether this is going to hold or not it looks like it might it's pretty strong but uh I'm, there's no guarantees in anything uh it's just probabilities and you know we have a nice extension of our red candles so it's possible we could see a good bounce but I don't know how strong that bounce is uh, it depends on how fast we recover from the Elon FUD and uh, anything else that's going that's going on with all the, the energy consumption deals uh, which is just silly you know and stupid uh, so let's go to Ethereum and you can see We've been bouncing off of this this demand zone that's been created right here. It's a little four-hour demand, just uh, front-running uh, support, daily support. Uh, so there is buyers here, but the, the pressure is weak. You can see that uh, you know we've got the closing tops. This is daily. Yeah, this is daily. Uh, slowly drifting downward. We got a level off here, so that's not too bad. This means that the selling, the selling pressure is uh, waning, and the buying pressure is increasing. So we're getting this sort of a, a symmetrical triangle thing here. Uh, hopefully, it breaks in the right direction, heading north again. Uh, I think in the you know in the longer term, ETH is going to be around. It got it got a nice uh, network effect, a nice ecosystem built around it. So uh, I'm looking for a lot of positive things to happen this. And so, um, but it, it, it's definitely a possibility it could break down to this next level. Whereas, uh, I mean, it's, it's be a bumpy ride down. It wouldn't be, I don't think it would be all zoom, 
it would be bouncy 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 and a little bit more uh, not as sharp of an angle not as sharp of a drop I think that there's a lot of willing buyers at any level here so uh, and then we we can hit rock bottom down here at 23 but I don't know I don't think it's gonna go that far this is this is just the first retrace of a significant run so I, I just I don't think and it doesn't look it doesn't look parabolic by any stretch of the imagination uh, on the weekly it's uh, it's up but uh, looks like it's just taking a break I don't think it's uh, I, think, I think I think this might be a good buying opportunity to buy uh, you know if you uh, are a trader you know and not doing dollar cost averaging uh, that's not a not a bad uh, not a bad sh uh, sh trade there pretty good on the uh, uh, what you call it the uh, probabilities of uh, it working out in your favor uh, moving on let's go to Binance coin now I have to go to trading view because I can't get Binance coin to come up on uh, uh, any type of MetaTrader platform to work with. So, and there's some indicators that I like better on uh, TradingView anyway. But uh, you can see that the selling pressure, it's looking a lot like Bitcoin. The selling pressure is, we got in a lower low, slightly lower. We've actually, the, uh, the or this is the selling pressure, sorry, the selling pressure is starting to go downward to create more downward pressure and then the buying pressure is waning but still hasn't tipped downward as well as of yet so uh, it's looking a lot more like Bitcoin but uh, that's what that's why the uh, uh, dollar cost average signals are so close together um, as compared to uh, ethereum so just just uh, keep that in mind and it did it's hitting below the 21 this is the 21 moving average we've actually got a cross between the 21 and the 6 so we, um, you know it's starting to it's not bearish but it's definitely flat it doesn't mean that it can't take off and go north again it's we, we need a we need to get a lower low in here somewhere in a lower high which we don't have either as of yet so it's just kind of in no man's land at this point uh, so something to keep in mind that the 21 is uh, the most common average used out there in you know and this is on the daily we look on the weekly let's take a look peek at the weekly real quick see we've got hardly got it still just kind of looks like it's taking a breather it gets these little weeks just one week red candles before it takes off again so uh, overall it's looking like a good buy opportunity here as well on the weekly uh, so it hasn't been in this consolidation as long as uh, Bitcoin has and so might be a good buy opportunity uh, as of right now uh, the, the odds are still stacked in favor if you can if it'll tap back down into this demand level again I don't know it seemed to bounce pretty hard out of that level so uh, that's about it thanks for stopping by remember to hit to uh, hit like and subscribe to get my signals I only do one video a week I'm not gonna bomb you with a bunch of videos and uh, it'll be pinned up here the signals will be pinned up here in my pinned tweet all right Thanks.